Girl, you got me messed up. What is this? Mother. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Nas. Over here we talk about all things lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. And today is a good old vlog. We just got done running some errands. And what I mean by errands is grocery shopping, child. We just went grocery shopping. I went to the gym this morning, first time back in like five weeks. So that felt really good, but it also inspired me and motivated me to just go grocery shopping and like pick up some things so I can meal prep, so I can stay on, you know, stay on it, stay with it. So I'm about to go ahead and unpack some of the things that we got. Um, I also stopped at H&M um, and I also stopped at Trader Joe's. So I'll show you what I got from there as well. And uh, we also went to Target. So we went, did a little shopping at Target, did a little shopping at Aldi, did a little um, Trader Joe's stop. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, play some cute little music and get unpacking. But this, Mama Cozies, Mama Cozies, this pizza was fire, y'all. Like, baby, it was good, okay? Um, if you watch my vlogs, you already know, like, the house is a disaster, okay? This is what we do over here. We dirty up the house, we clean it up. We dirty up the house, we clean it up. Well, it's not dirty, it's just stuff needs to go in places where it belongs okay this past weekend katie turned 13 y'all so now we have officially two teenagers in the house we have a 13 and a 15 year old that's about to be 16 child how do we get here but yeah so we went to nickelodeon and then she had she had a hotel party so i actually did not unpack like the things that i packed for myself um for the uh overnight party sleepover party birthday party so i'm about to take care of that i literally like my dining table is like a catch-all i know i'm not the only one don't come for me i can't wait till we sell this thing and i actually get one that i want to use because it won't be a catch-all i want a round table so bad right now we have like this rectangle one very it's given farmhouse you know when we bought the house i was like oh this is the vibe this is what i want and it's not what i want no more it's not what i want for me so that's neither here or there. Anyways, I have stuff on this table. We got, y'all can see we got stuff in the back. Um, we did get some PR um, over the past few days. Let me show y'all what we got. One of the packages I got in PR um, is YSL sent me their new perfume. What's crazy is if you watched my LA vlog when I went to um, uh, LA with Alta, we had a master class with YSL and they showed us Hey, our girl Renee over at YSL showed us um, the new fragrance, showed us this fragrance and she was like, it's going to be coming out around the holiday season and it's literally already the holiday season. It's so crazy, but y'all see it is y'all see it is super cute. 
How cute is that? This also came yesterday. Oh, we got this. And they sent over a cute little bracelet too. We also got two packages from Alani New. They sent over like the cute little minis. Um, and then the Witch's Brew, the one like my favorite, the caramel apple uh, energy drink, so good. And then this is from Beauty Blender. Um, they've been sending out like the Allure Beauty winners have been sending out their products um, of like the Allure Beauty 2023 list and stuff like that so that is what i believe they got nominated for or like what they were in allure for shout out to them for being in allure <laughs> also y'all we have to ship some packages i probably won't get to it today i probably will do it tomorrow honestly no we could probably do it today because i have i have to go get katie from volleyball today but i've done my i did my i hosted my first giveaway last week and i just announced the winners yesterday um and i just packed a bag full of, or two boxes full of goodies so i'm super excited for them to get their stuff um so i'm gonna ship those off i probably can get those done i can even create the labels and all the stuff here um yeah we could do all that here because I got a printer and stuff. So we could do that. And then I just take them to the post office and on their merry way. Period. Had a brain fart. But yes. So I can't wait to do another one because I have a lot of PR that I need to give, give away. Some of the things I'm probably never going to use. So that's the stuff that I've been giving away. Like friends and family and stuff like that. But I really wanted to host one for my audience. Like for my followers. Because y'all be showing out on my Instagram and on my TikTok. And I just appreciate all the love. And we just hit 7K y'all. We just hit 7K on YouTube. And we just hit 100K on um, Instagram. So we're growing. But yeah. I'm going to show you guys what's in the boxes. Each of the boxes that I am giving away. Okay. So I won't go through the entire box. But I will show y'all a little bit of what's inside. So I honestly just went through all of my PR. And started grabbing stuff that I'm like. Okay. Am I going to use this? Am I not going to use this? Um, and even if I like liked it. I'm like girl. You know you're probably going to get sent another one. So why not share? You know. So I. Um, in this box we have some eyebrow serum we also have some lip plumping stuff we have some lumi lotion or lumi glotion from l'oreal we love her um an eyeshadow palette from nyx some eye patches we got a firming cream got a firming cream from first aid beauty a cleansing bar from first aid beauty Cherry Dub from Fenty Beauty, some facial mist from e.l.f. We have some retinol serums from Murad. Uh, this brand, Rosie, they sent me two of these packages. So I just gave, like, I split the entire box, like, what they gave me between both of the, the boxes. So this is a body wash. And then this is the perfume. And um, a pillow lip solid serum. Okay, girl. I don't even know what that is. I just seen it and I was like, here. <laughs> Some, oh, a highlighter. I've never used these, um, but I heard that they're like, you know, like the ones from Tarte. And then Verb. Some stuff from Verb. Some goodies from Verb. Got some goodies from Thread Beauty. Fenty. I just actually got this in PR. It came with three minis and then the regular size one. And I kept one mini, gave the other one to my daughter, and then I'm putting one inside of the giveaway. And then this one is from the new holiday collection. This is the Vanilla Dream Shimmering. So, hey, girl, you got hooked up. And then another uh, Lumi Glotion. Oh, wait, is that another one or is that the same? Oh, wait, I put two of the same ones in here. Maybe I'll mix that up. Okay. Because I think I put two in the other one as well. But those are the same. And then another little. So this is the actual like Tarte. Um, like blush. high. Oh this is the blush tape. But they have a highlighter one as well. So um, they sent over their holiday collection too. So I split these up between both of the boxes. Um, something from First Aid Beauty. A primer. Some Urban Skin. Some lip products. Um, so yeah, super cute. Oh, and this box got the Fenty. Oh, okay. Wait, maybe I shouldn't give because that's like, let me see if the other box, if I put Fenty in the other box and 
then I'm gonna I might split these two up but yeah so this is one of the like believe the little holiday kits comes with the mascara and y'all know I love this mascara down so to be giving it away girl y'all know I love y'all okay and then we have the gloss bomb um I've never tried this one but uh again I get this stuff for free I don't want to be stingy um why not share okay there's enough to go around okay baby it'll come back i'm gonna keep this out because just in case i didn't give the other um giveaway person uh any fancy you know i just want to be sh i just want to be fair you know i just want to be fair so i'm gonna put this stuff back and i'm gonna show you what's in the other box so this box we have some of the maylee's products i like these products because they're good for like body acne but not even just this is the body acne line but they also have some for like cellulite and just firming the skin and all that stuff so Maylee's is actually a really good product um Tarte we got a palette um I, this might be too bright but my bad if it's too bright um I gave her an eye patch as well her I don't know who these boxes are going to I'm just going just box them up and put a label on them um but i will say both of them are very very good okay we got another holiday kit from verb um some key soul care the harmony mask i really love key soul care like this brand is so good alicia keys did her thing she did her big one we got some vici products yum yum and then, uh, what do we have? Some Lancome. Oh, this is a lip gloss. A juicy lip tube, lip tube from um, Lancome. A highlighter. Um, they also got a, uh, what do you call it? A retinol serum. Uh, they both got a few of these, like, some sun bum tinted uh, lip products. We have a eyeliner. Some lashes with a, is it lip pencil or eye pencil? I don't know a glam kit from nyx um again this is one of the rosy products this is the body milk um so we have another lumi lotion did i give her two or did i just give her one? Oh, i gave her one okay but there's another tart this is the highlighter one then we have some just some skin treatment some stuff we have a clip we have a full size of sexy hair this smells so good this is also i think a holiday thing um but they sent this over in two, with two and i kept one because i be doing my hair <laughs> i did keep one and i gave one away and we have some more stuff from first aid beauty okay so i didn't give her any Fenty Beauty stuff and I gave the other one three so I am going to add um a Fenty Beauty I think I'll add the Cherry Dub in there and daily eyelash conditioner so the other one i got the eyelash serum or was it brow serum i can't remember this one has the daily eyelash conditioner and then yeah all right there is and because that other one had the perfume i'm going to put the fenty stuff in here because the other one has a fenty kit like she got three items so i'm gonna give her two and yeah i feel like santa claus over here okay i can't wait to do another one i feel like i need to do another one now because we just did 7k and we just might we just might if you keep watching this video you might find out something all right i'm gonna go ahead and clean up my house get these boxes together and take my address off of these boxes because i'm using pr boxes take my address off tape them up and get them ready to go that by, that way by the time um five o'clock hits that's the time I need to go get Cadence. Um, I can just stop at the post office. Oh no, what time does post office close? Probably need to go before, huh? Do they close at five? I don't know. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. But I'm glad I have a scale here because I can actually like measure these. Measure them. But yay, I'm gonna hurry up and get them packaged up and sent out because I really wanna like see y'all's reaction to the stuff y'all giving. I'm gonna try to feel like an influencer for today, okay? 
All right, so now that we got the kitchen together, now I'm about to go ahead and make this arrangement because these flowers have literally been sitting here for a minute and it's time to get them in water. Like, I just really want y'all to take in how beautiful this arrangement is. It is giving fall. Anyways, like I was saying, when my dogs start going crazy outside, I'm very much a neutral girl, so. But every now and then I will play with color. Um, when it comes to like flowers and stuff like that. But typically I would stick to like greenery, baby's breath, and a white rose, honey. Or hydrangeas of some sort. I keep getting interrupted, okay? I'm just trying to make this floral arrangement. So I am going to, I have a few different vases here that I'm going to make um, little arrangements. I'm gonna put one in my office, one, um, typically I would have one in the dining, on the dining table, but I have a cute little centerpiece there already. So I'll probably put one in the kitchen. I have this fake floral <laughs> arrangement that I did. If you watched my um, fall vibes video, I made that. Those are all fake. So actually what I'll do is take these out um, and put, I feel like I can put this in here. Y'all, what in the heck? I'm gonna beat my mom. My mom smokes cigarettes. What in the heck? There's literally one cigarette. Oh, my mom gotta get beat. My mom gotta get beat. Are you kidding me? What is she, was she hiding it from me, child? I'm gonna beat her. In ways. was this one of the ones that was outside? I. She's so lucky you don't smell like cigarettes. <laughs> Beat my mom. Yo, okay, anyways, I'm going to put this in here with water, of course. Um, that way it'll hold the flowers. I'm going to beat my mom, like, oh. <gasps> now I'm really trying to figure out where was that? Was that vase outside? How old is this? Like, it doesn't even, This is, this has to be old. This doesn't even smell like a cigarette. This, this has to be so old y'all. This doesn't even smell like cigarettes. Are you got me messed up? What is this? Mother. <laughs> Anyways, she got me hot. <laughs> Let's do these flowers. <laughs> So we have the first one. This is going in the living room, the front room area. Is she a little skimpy? Because I really should have got some more filler flowers, like more eucalyptus and more like, and some baby's breath. I didn't even get baby's breath. I just got baby's breath in the, the fall arrangement. And I just kind of like tried to disperse it, but literally low key was just one little stem. But yeah, so they're looking a little, you know, they looking a little slim, okay? They not as thick as I want them to be, but um, this one is also really good. However, I understand that I probably shouldn't have cut them too short. Y'all see me trying to measure them out, but um, this one is pretty. You just see more of the color like on the top. So I was gonna cut some more down. The thing is like, I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to. So it looks pretty like, I swear to y'all, it, it is pretty. Like, it is a pretty arrangement. I know it's looking like super, super green, um, but like in real time, I know she's looking super, super green, but in real time, she looks, she looked pretty. Her body tea, she thick. Like, she looks pretty. I really like this one, and I like the drapery of the eucalyptus and all. So, she's gonna go in here. 
out. She's very thin, okay? Very, very much thin. I think later when I go get Katie, she wanted to go get Boba, so I might go take her to get Boba. And right next to Boba is Trader Joe's, so I might just get another thing of like baby's breath um, and maybe some more eucalyptus just to, you know, balance everything out because yeah, like we need them to be fuller and you know, just have shape to them, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of the flowers, um, the remnants from me making these flowers, take out the recycling and drink the rest of my water. I'm doing so good with my water, y'all. Like, I'm doing so good. Look at, look how much water we got left. Look how much water we got left. We're doing so good. I really am stunned that my mama has cigarettes up in that, up in that thing. Like, what was you doing? Were you hiding them from yourself? Because you know you shouldn't be smoking them? Probably. You don't talk when you fish. Yes, why? He was packing his bags before the months fell. It is Friday. It is Friday. The time is 8.27. I'm actually meeting with my best friend this morning. If you guys are, um, if you guys don't know, I have my best friend like helping me with my, just maintaining my content creation business me being a full-time influencer she's like my project manager if you will so we have to meet um now that she has a full-time job so now that she's back working it's fall season um it's been hard for us to like connect and like you know get on the same page as far as things mainly because i do not know how to delegate correctly um and that's part of the reason why she's helping me also but i the meeting basically today is going to be like her because our schedules are not aligned anymore like we, she wasn't working in the summer so it was easier for us to like connect and link and meet and stuff like that but now that she's working my girl is a wife she has four kids a dog like you know she has her own life I um it's just hard to like sync our schedules and stuff like that um mainly because I like to work during the week and the weekends is when I take my break um similar to a regular nine to five um the only thing is she also works during the week and then like I said my girl has a family and things to do so um basically the meeting I'm just going to tell her she needs to start telling me when we need to meet or when we need to shoot and stuff like that because she also like does my photography well I'm getting her to do my photography more we've only shot like twice um but she started dabbling with photography over this summer oh come on light she started dabbling with the um photography over the summer and so I was like yeah girl come help me so yeah I just want to get on the same page and now that it's quarter four like I don't want to slow down yesterday I filmed quite a bit of content I think I filmed like 12 12 or 13 pieces of content um and today I'm doing even more once um I get back we're supposed to be meeting at a cafe at 10 oh the light is really the sun just really just came out of nowhere um we're supposed to be meeting at 10 um and the time like i said 8 30 so we have a little bit of time i was going to film a little video um like a little get ready actually i think i will i think i will film a quick little get ready with me um not a get ready with me but i have hmm, let me show y'all i scripted out all of my content earlier this week so 
I would be more inclined to actually create and not that's my problem I can't create on the fly like I have to be um I have to have my content scripted that's the only way at least the the talking content that I that a lot of y'all see me do that content has to be scripted or else baby grow just ain't gonna happen or it just takes way too long and that's why I was able to film so much content yesterday because I scripted um I'm actually I did more than 13 because I did like seven like I have seven drafts that I recorded like actually on my phone on TikTok but those are like filler pieces like there's no value it's just me looking cute or doing like a transition and stuff like that those are that's what I call like filler content this is the value content where I script and stuff like that so let me show y'all real quick Okay, so as you can see here, I am doing a challenge um, because I, I know that I need my audience to get to know, like, me, <laughs> who I am, what I offer. You know, I, I, they need a different way to connect with me outside of, like, fashion <laughs> and looking cute and stuff like that. And basically, this is some stuff that me and my agency have been going through as far as, like, strategizing and how I should be showing up and stuff like that. So, I'm doing a 30 Days of Choosing You because... We'll get into that later. But anyways, this is the content for it. So yesterday I filmed this. Um, it was like me installing my wig, I believe. I think. Yeah. And then this one was me doing my makeup. Um, I did what does choosing yourself look like. So I scripted all this, talked about this. So today, um, I think because this is a shorter one, I can just do a get ready with me. Like just do my makeup, like a simple makeup, like what I'm going to be wearing today. Um and do this and talk about like mindset shifts and stuff like that everything that is like scripted correlates and I even have like sounds I input like these sounds and stuff like that inside of Canva that way I know like which I think this is b-roll the ones that I put sounds to they're either b-roll or ones that I want to be talking to so yeah um I'm gonna be shooting the idea I have 20 of these so the idea is to get all of them done this weekend that way I can just, just draft them up and have them ready to go but yeah i am i am excited that i actually took time to like really script and sit down with my content because i don't want to say i've been in a rut but i have noticed i've been growing on both platforms i just hit 7k on youtube i just hit a hundred thousand hundred and one thousand on Instagram we're at 51k on TikTok like we are growing but I just feel a disconnection within my content we all go through it content creators you know what I mean so I'm just trying to find a flow that feels right for me and also feels right for the people that I create for um so yeah I'm getting ready right now um and like I said I think I am actually gonna film I am gonna film a little get ready with me because why not we have time we do have time and i will take you guys though to the coffee shop with me and then i think um i want to stop at what's it called ulta stop at ulta later because my favorite my absolute favorite pads um i literally have one left so i want to go get some more of these and just see what else they got for like the holiday oh speaking of the holiday um rim beauty oh and i also filmed a bunch of like pr that i got i was i was working yesterday okay um but rim beauty since over their holiday kits i did not know they had these super pretty like holographic lip glosses so cute so i'm gonna be filming that today i didn't get to it yesterday because it was late and then i ended up cooking dinner and it was a lot but yeah so wait I already I already did this and I just put my serum on why did I just wipe it off I'm gonna go ahead and get my life together y'all and I'll see y'all in a minute <laughs> all right y'all we're in the car um <laughs> I feel like I should have put a lip liner on because my lip I look so like blah in the face the way i did my makeup i just feel blah what happened was i was supposed to be <laughs> i was supposed to do a natural natural vibe but y'all know how that go 
the makeup was start supposed to start off natural and then i was like well let me the thing is with my skin and y'all i cannot wait y'all i have a appointment with a black dermatologist emphasis on black because that's who i've been needing to see this entire time um on the 8th so when i get back from new york um i'm so excited i'll be going to go see her but um yeah so part of me like i be in my you know let's do natural let's like not be afraid to show the blemishes <clears throat> i don't know where i left off but yeah um part of me be like yeah let's do the natural thing and then when i start doing the natural thing i think because the um the light spots are so prominent i get not in I mean, yeah maybe it is insecure but i just i'm like uh-uh like it don't look right to me so i think it would be one thing because this is the thing i admire the girlies that have vitiligo or that have like skin conditions where they like do their makeup around the thing that's um you know the the prominent thing they do their makeup around that thing right but for me it's a little different because i feel like that it would be different if that area wasn't just it's dry the area is dry and flaky and it gets extremely dry if i don't put anything on it so but the issue with me trying to do my makeup like that is some areas will be cute and flawless <laughs> not flawless but you know like covered we, i would have coverage on some areas and then the areas where i don't which are those light spots white spots they would have to be extremely um um oiled up if you know what i mean they would have to be extremely oiled up moisturized vaseline if you will and it just i don't like the contrast of that shininess on my chin and then you know the other areas so i'm still figuring it out i have done it like that more than a few more than a few times um i'm just trying to find my flow with everything i'm just trying to find my flow i'm just trying to find my flow with everything but let me go ahead and pay attention to driving and i'll see y'all um when we meet up with Nate. You don't know, baby, cause when you hold me and kiss me slowly, it's the sweetest thing, and it don't change if I had it my way, cause you would know that you are, you're the coffee that I need in the morning, you're my sunshine in the rain. It's pouring. Won't you give yourself to me? Give it's it all. <laughs> you said you didn't want to say. say. <laughs> Why you say you didn't want to say? Mai Tai, Manhattan. Cute. Oh, this would be cute to do for my content because I'm, I'm going to New York next month. Oh. Alright y'all, we are back home. Is it focused on me? Alright you guys, we are back home. Um, the time is, I feel like it's going on 5, yeah, it's 426 right now. I have been out pretty much all morning, all afternoon, all, well not all morning, we left, yeah all morning. We've been, we've been gone. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus on me, but, you know, let me sit y'all up right here, you know what I'm Okay, y'all a little crooked, but hold on, let me see. I have y'all in the light post, or light post, <laughs> on my lamp. So, we went to Ulta. Actually, let's go show y'all. Let me get the little tripod to show y'all what we got from Ulta. I actually just posted a little TikTok sharing like a little haul, all the stuff that we got. So let's sit down here. What we got? We also got some PR. Um, we got a package today from Tarte. I think my camera's about to die. Hopefully not. 
I love when my camera, like, the quality, like, qualities, like, it does what it's supposed to do. Right now, I feel like the quality is doing real good. <laughs> Look at Katie in the background. All right, so we picked uh, two of these makeup wipes um, because, or the cotton pads, because they were about to get one free. So I got two of the larger size, and then I got one of, like, the regular rounds. And then I picked up the Neutrogena um, uh, individual towelettes. Now, I know, I know this isn't the best for the environment, but I really like having these in my purse, like when I'm on the go, um, especially because my skin is drier. So if need be, because my skin is more drier, um, I like to just have these on deck in case I do need to wipe off that little area that is dry instead of like piling more makeup on or like itching at it just take it off and reapply or i'll you know lubricate with um the the key soul care um, comforting balm it's kind of like an aquaphor type thing but yeah so i like to have these instead of going and using like tissue or something dry that'll irritate it i just like to have like a little wet night a little, a little wet nap okay um don't come for me i know they're not the best but they work for me um, I also got, and I'm just sitting here realizing that I did not even pick up my Elemis cleansing pads, like the actual pads that I said I really like. I didn't even get those, but whatever. Um, why are you staring? <laughs> Was she being a creep back there staring? I don't care. <laughs> um, I also picked up um, a MAC lip pencil. This is Night Moth. If you know, you know. I feel like Night Moth is just that fall grow. Okay. She goes with like every fall lip. And I even like wearing her by herself. Like just all over the lips. Um, very deep bisque. This is a color corrector. I've been wanting to get one of the Bobbi Brown color correctors for a long time. Every time I pick it up, I just kind of like put it back. <laughs> um, because I'm just like, this is $30. I'd rather spend $30 on something else, but we got it today. We ended up getting it today. And I also picked up a gray lipstick. I thought this would be really cute for, you know, the season. Another idea for a fall lip. Um, I used to wear gray a lot, like in my like creative videos and stuff like that. What's up, bro? They're moldy. They're moldy? Yeah. Oh, the expiration date is today. My bad. My bad, shorty. I'm sorry. Um, I also picked up some lip pencils from NYX. We have Copenhagen or Copenhagen and um, Alien. This one is actually from my room. I, I don't know why I grabbed it and put it in here. This is the brown one from NYX and it's called brown. Two lip, new lippies from um, the Velvet line, Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Velvet line. So y'all know the red, the MVP, that one I absolutely love down. That one is so good. That red is just, mm. so um, I have that and I have Breadwinner. <laughs> and then I also have, there's Leftovers Pearl. What? L last night's dinner. Do you want that? Are there still the bread, bread, bread thing? There's two, so you can have one. Um, and then, so this one is Truth Fairy. This is a newer shade. It's like a, it's like a rust. It's like a rust nude, if that makes sense. I don't want to swatch it because I don't want to get it all over my hands. But um, very, very pretty color. This, I believe this is a newer one. And then this one is Nudes and Dudes. And this is more of like a pale, like what it is, what it says, <laughs> nude. Just like a peachy nude. Um, and we love that. So this, that's going to actually be fire with Breadwinner in this, uh, with this in the center of Breadwinner. Or even the red lipstick. That would eat too. That would eat too. It'll probably give more like spring vibes, but mattes just give me fall winter vibes. Um, we got a few lippies. So cover grow. Um, the clean fresh yummy gloss. This gloss is the bomb. Like I can't get enough of it. I should actually give Pearl one. Pearl, I call Katie Pearl. She has a bunch of nicknames, but I should probably give her one because she was just asking for another lip gloss. I think I will. Um, and I got two shades, uh, Sugar Poppy and Glamingo Pink, Glamingo Pink. I, I have, this is probably, I probably need 
maybe two more shades and I will literally have every single one. That's how much I love this gloss. It's so good. And then I got a fat oil. I don't have this shade. I like this like rich brown color. It's cute. I just been into the lip oils, y'all. Lip oils, lip gloss, same thing. Um, and then I picked up, did I already show y'all this? The micellar water? Yeah. <laughs> got this um and then the uh, so i don't know how to pronounce this brand but basically i was up late not last night maybe a few weeks ago um looking for just products that would help with like drier skin because it's that season y'all but this avine 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 <laughs> product um i do not know how to pronounce it but i when i tell y'all everybody was talking about how good this product was i was like i have to try it for myself they were even showing before and after so she's a little i mean she wasn't that pri she was pricey this was 38 dollars. this is the restorative protective cream this was 38 dollars, and then this was 28 dollars. this is the hydrants boost serum now it just says that it has um, hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin B3. Now, I'm already using products that have hyaluronic acid and, you know, those things inside of it. So, I was like, do I really need to buy this? But I decided to go ahead and try these out together for, like, the next, until the end of the month. I want to see, you know, how they treat my skin and if my skin will react, how my skin will react to, um to uh the products <laughs> to the products so yeah that's why i wanted to get something to pair it with i should have got the cleanser but i've been on my sarah v kick right now i like her she's working we're good but this is getting more and more dry and my appointment isn't in to my appointment isn't for like another four oh uh, yeah like four weeks yeah like four weeks so in the meantime, in between time, I want to try to like find products that will work for me within this next season of winter, fall, you know. So we picked up a new scent. We have Burberry Her or Burberry Her. Bur I do love Burberry Her is my girl. Um, but Burberry Goddess. And she smells so good. It will fit right along in my collection because we love a good warm scent. We love a good warm scent. We love a good vanilla base scent. And she smells so pretty. This is what she looks like. I didn't even know, maybe this isn't new, but it's new to me. So I knew nothing about her, but she smells so good and she's pretty. Mm, she just smells so good. She smells so good, girl. So, um, oh, and I got one more thing. Is that, yeah, one more thing. One more thing. I got the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear. <laughs> I don't know why I just read that like that. The Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation um, with SPS 15. And they say it's a full coverage. And I need full coverage. Well, I don't need full coverage. But I really do like a good full coverage beat. Like, don't play with me. So, I've been trying to, like, get my stuff together for New York. And try to figure out, like, what I want to bring and stuff like that. Y'all know we're going to be shopping out there, too. So, but, yeah. So, I am excited about all of the goodies we got. Um... I am kind of hurt that I did not get my Elemis stuff, but either way, um, I'm super excited. Pearl, come here, Binks. She has a lot of names, I'm sorry. Um, come here. I'm gonna do, I think I'm some more like makeup content and then that's it. I was, I really wanted to do, um, uh, some fashion content today, but it's Friday. I keep thinking What's today. That? I keep thinking today is Saturday. You can have one. Mm, About two. I have one. Well, you know they really don't give off like that yeah. much color. <laughs> color, but that one's the color of my old phone. <laughs> Which one should I keep, y'all? I think you should keep any. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep Glam Glamingo Pink. You can, you can have that one. Flamingos aren't that color. Glamingo is what it's called. Let's What's see. Called? I have like I have like three different lip products on it. Y'all just see how glossy. Anyways, y'all can tell. Y'all can see why we really like this gloss. Y'all see, like see we over here fighting over it. That's how much we love this lip gloss. Like, 
Mm. I wasn't even supposed to have the other one. I was supposed to borrow that. It smells so good. Yeah, she was supposed to borrow it and never <laughs> gave it back. But yeah, my camera is dying. I'm about to go ahead and straighten up my room a little bit and then we're going to start filming. Actually, I think I'm going to film the other wig tutorial. Yeah. Can we're I gonna wig switch out the battery. No, you can't wear no wig. I'm going to get a braided wig. So I'm braided wig. I do need to wash your hair, but that's probably not going to happen tonight. Yeah. I'll see you in a minute. All right, friends, we did a few videos, but I did not share with y'all. I been, I think I did share. Did I share with y'all that I was getting the wine? I don't even know if I, I talked about that. I'm pretty sure I put it somewhere in this video because we did go to Target earlier. We ended up finding the Prosecco by Via Ray. By, by Issa Ray, the Via Ray. Um, and I'm going to just say this. When I popped that thing open, the smell, like, it smelled so so pretty almost like a perfume i was like oh my god what is that um but we're about to taste it for the first time oh she's giving crisp mm. she's giving crisp that it's giving what is that giving it's giving bubbly i know that oh that smell it smells so good but it tastes prosecco. <laughs> it's a prosecco. Um, it's an, it's not like revolutionary or groundbreaking, but you know what? Actually, it is because it's Issa Rae, and just off that alone, it's revolutionary and it's groundbreaking. So I'll take back everything I just said. She's delicioso. Um, but I'm so excited that I got it. They didn't have it at the first Target, so I had to go all the way across town, and I'm not even mad at it. I'm not mad at all. This will be my Friday sippy sip. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to get a snatch ponytail in under 30 minutes. Now, okay, Tierra. Ponytail part. But yeah, I think I'm about to, I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and film a little bit more. I was about to say I'm about to throw in the towel. My nail is like loose. I low-key want to do an entire new set, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. Um, we're going to the winery tomorrow. And, um, I, yeah, I just, I was feeling like I wanted a new set, but I think I'm going to wait and ride this set out until I do the set for New York. So two more weeks, two more weeks or shoot, not even a full, yeah, it is a full two weeks because today's the 20th. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 12 days. So just under two full weeks. Um, I think we'll be fine. We will be okay. So I'm going to keep this set. This one is loose, but we have nail glue. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that back on. But other than that, yeah, I thought I really liked this set, but I'm not crazy about it. Um, I should have used different tools other than the tools that I ended up using um for the lines because like it's giving like it's giving spooky season definitely so i mean i guess there's nothing wrong with that it's giving more cockroach than crocodile and that's not what i was trying to give so yeah i think that's why i'm not crazy about it and also like the color like the thumbnail the thumb green is what i was trying to get with these two and yeah it's just not giving fall i feel like the this gives more fall swampy moody green this is like not the green that i wanted but either way i do my own set so that is okay okay sometimes you win sometimes you lose but you can change it whenever okay for free so yeah um i think i might do some more lip tutorials i thought i was going to do the wig video or i guess i could i can do the wig. it's only 5 34 it is only 534. I can do the wig video. I'm literally not doing anything. I could sit here, turn the camera on. I'm about to, I literally just popped the nail off. <laughs> Cause it popped off earlier and I tried to glue it. it. The glue was gluing, but I just hit something in the kitchen and it was loose a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue her back on. <laughs> this is the glue that I use in case y'all are interested. It's the kiss one. And I don't know, I was gonna say I like her, but baby, I didn't glue this one. This thumb came off like two days ago and which is crazy because my nails never pop off so i used a new set but it's the same like brand that i use i used a new like nail set um and i don't know if it's the nails baby or if it's me but my nails never pop off and these thumbs are not letting me live um 
So that's a little irritating. My Uggs were supposed to come today, y'all. It still says that they're on their way, but USPS do not deliver this late. Um, so I'm wondering if my Uggs are going to come today or if they're just going to come tomorrow and they just haven't updated it. I'm kind of all over the place. Um, I feel like I look tired. Maybe if I put lashes on and then do a few more tutorials. Just doing lip stuff, the filler content. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then I'll fill you guys on, on as far as like how the meeting went. Because I don't think I did that either. But yeah, we're going to the winery tomorrow. 1.30, we're out of here. We're hitting the road, Jack. Or 1.50, I believe. That's what time we're going to leave. Because it's like an hour away. We have to be there at 3. It's like a chili fest <laughs> winery. Wine, well, the winery that we're going to is hosting a chili festival. So, it should be fun. The bubbles are bubbling, honey. Look at that. I feel it off the little three sips that I took, too. But, alright, y'all. I'll see y'all in a minute. I will make you iced coffee. Yeah. When you drink it. You drink it before the gym. That's a shot. Well, well, if you're going to be a butt about it, I don't know what to tell you, baby. I don't know what to tell him. I don't even get down with pancakes, honey. And you know this, baby. You know this, baby. All right, y'all. Since he don't want to ice coffee, we'll make our own ice coffee. First thing you're going to need is some ice. I got this cold foam. This sweet vanilla cold foam from Aldi um, last week or the week before, I don't remember. But it doesn't come out like whipped cream. It, I got it, it comes out like foam. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little bit to the bottom. Y'all see like how it like comes out. It's like much softer than whipped cream. So I'm adding a little bit to the bottom. And then we're gonna add in our coffee. This is the coffee that I use. The unsweet Stokes coffee. Add that. Let me show y'all. Add that. I think that's a little bit more. And then we're gonna add our creamer. The creamer, now this is also new. I got this from Aldi as well. Um, the one that I normally use is the oat one. It is the oat creamer from I get this one from, from good and gather from Target actually I am going to use this one because this uh does it have it only has six, six grams of car like it's not like it doesn't have like sugars it has five grams of sugars in it but it's overly sweet so whatever like sweetener replacement that they're using I'm a fan of it wait when does this expire oh um but yeah so is with the oat milk i really like this creamer and this is i'm almost out but the salted caramel i'm gonna add a little bit to the tizop um i know like if i use if i use this i there's no sense of me using this one because this is just this is just too sweet for me like the sweeteners or the um creamer is just too sweet for me um now i'm going to go ahead and start and sometimes like if she's a little too like a, li a little too light skin for me i will add a little bit more coffee for he mad because he wants pancakes but we don't have any butter we don't have any oil we don't have any spray oil we ain't got nothing okay so she's a little too light skin for me so we're gonna add a little bit more coffee Yep, too light skin. <laughs> and typically I would add like caramel, like caramel drizzle. But um, all we have is like the caramel for like caramel apples. I don't want to do that. So 
Bottoms up, here we go. Taste test. Perfecto. And if it looks like I'm wearing the same thing from yesterday, I am. Come tell people what you got out of the suit. You got everything you need. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that you we needed got oil. Dog, so. <laughs> I, he want pancakes, y'all. How do you make pancakes without any butter or oil? How? You want some burnt pancakes? We got some peanuts, right? Peanut oil. We ain't good. Get to work. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to the winery, y'all. Dang, man. What? Okay, I ain't got no chocolate anyway. What? Go get a um croissant sandwich from Burger King. No, I'm gonna go get a uh, All Star breakfast from Waffle House. <laughs> Anyways, Waffle House. We ain't even got no Waffle House. Anyways, we're going to the winery today. Um, it's 9:43. We're supposed to be leaving at, or everybody's supposed to be meeting up at 1:30. Um, because we have to be there by three o'clock, and it's an hour away. So. Um, I think what I'm gonna do in the meantime is clean up my office and shoot some content for like winery outfits um, Inspo for TikTok, actually for TikTok and Pinterest. I need to get better with like posting on Pinterest, but Yeah, so I think that's what I want to I'm gonna do. I was gonna edit but I figured why not just get some content done And then tomorrow I can focus on editing So yeah, that is the, the vibe. That's the vibe for today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my life together. I'm gonna go ahead and clean. Y'all seen me clean more than enough times. More than enough times, is that what I'm trying to say? One too many times. So I'm not gonna film that, but I will see y'all when we're done cleaning, okay? When it's time to make the content. Hey friends, we're going to a winery today and I've never been to a winery in the fall. At least I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't think I have. So I'm gonna keep it a buck. Your girl was low-key struggling on what to wear. Only because it's like high 60s, low 70s, but I don't want to be cold. So I'm gonna put together three little options. One for the set babes, one for the grilly girls, and one for the casual girls. Let's do this. I don't know why I was struggling to find some inspiration. So hopefully anybody that's going to the winery in the fall, y'all get something from this video, okay? First look, all black everything, okay? It is tight season, baby, and I'm so excited to bust the tights out. Now, I told y'all, the temperatures have dropped, so we definitely put in socks on. I couldn't decide between the loafers and the boots, and I really liked the loafers more. The boots, if they weren't platforms, I definitely would have did that. But let's get into this next look, which is the set. This set is old from Pretty Little Thing. If I can find the link, I'm pretty sure this is one of those items that they recycle over and over and over, so they always have it on the site, but I will link it if I can find it. I decided to switch the earrings out just to give a little pop of color and then a boot. I could not find a shoe to go with this look at all, so I wasn't ecstatic about this. Nonetheless, it is very cute, okay? Next, for the girls that like to rock a good denim, we have to have a simple, chic, casual look, right? Why not pair with a cute, oversized cardigan? Now, you could do a long one like this one, or you could do a short one. Either one would be cute. This look would have been so fire with my Ugg platforms, but they did not arrive in time, so I just used my Birkenstock dupes to give you guys the visuals. Okay, which look do you guys like the most? The inside of my mouth. I didn't know that. What do you mean? <laughs> y'all know. Y'all knew. Y'all knew. <laughs> like, when I'm when I like chewing this stuff, I'm like, I didn't know you did that quite. I know that you, seeing you now, like do it, I'm like, oh, she does that, but. So what? Oh, I don't either. I don't either. In the in the middle of the night, girl, when I be like. No. Oh, I ain't even touch my cool mama. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> We're in Minnesota. In Laconia. I'm in Laconia, Minnesota. I'm gonna eat us some chili. 
They say it's a chili fest now. There's a lot of cars out here. We're about to see what it's, what it's hitting for. They got lines and shit. We just came for the wine. Oh, you can do whatever. I was just sick. Oh, I thought game content. So. <laughs> y'all, so we, y'all see that fire over there, right? So they said we have a bonfire at six. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I said, we're supposed to, I need to be vlogging. Janae said, yeah, get our last words. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, What's yeah. a bonfire is this? It's giving sacrifice. Yeah, I don't like it. It's not giving the vibe. Like, that's like, giving like, burning the tree. Are we even doing the cold? <laughs> <laughs> that's what this is giving. It's giving cold. <laughs> This is giving Blair a witch yeah, project. <laughs> she sucked it to the <laughs> Get out! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 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 Like, what is this? Y'all really just watching this fire burn. <sighs> when in Rome, do as the Romans. Ain't that what they say? When in Rome, y'all. Watch the embers. <laughs> It's giving Blair oh, which look project. That's a VIP. That's the ones I got the money. That's buying it. I'm ready. Then you get, then you get the hoods on. You take the auction. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like so cool. Would the light be okay? No, I don't think so. I think you gotta do it away from the good fight. Right? Oh my. Look at the air up yet. I can't see. No, just get over. Oh, get closer. Get right here. It's just a video. Oh, get closer, please. I can't see, y'all. I can't. Wait over here. Because I can't see. What the band's doing now? We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me the high.
Hey friends, it is Monday. I know it's like quite a jump. <laughs> um, but I wanted to get this part in the vlog before we head to New York. I want to share like what I'm packing and what I'm thinking about taking. So I think I have all of my looks. I am waiting for like two more clothing packages to come. Mainly the Zara one because I want to try the pants. They're like trousers. I want to try them on um, with this top specifically. You see like it has like the little bra cutlet like little cutout. Um, just to like add a little color because all of my looks y'all are black or silver, like very much neutrals. This is one of the outfits that I'm thinking about taking. One of the looks I'm thinking of taking, I don't know if I can see, <laughs> but it is like this denim tunic. Um, I think I am going to bring it. You see it like stops like right. It stops like pretty, it goes pretty low. Um, I mean, not pretty low, but like it's right above my knee. So I think that's a really good length. Um, pretty long. And I think I'm going to pair with my shark dupe boots. These like plain little boots and then like a black um, bag. But I want to start packing the stuff that I know for sure um, I'm taking. Um, which is honestly like three of my looks have tights and I'm like girl switch it up so I do have a pair of jeans and I do have the trousers that are coming um but few a lot of these looks are for like content purposes like to shoot content because I'm praying and hoping I could connect with a photographer out there on one of the days that I have a little free time so I'm about to find all of my bags um you know the clothing bags that you like zip the clothes in to like make more room because we're gonna try to consolidate as much as we can because like i said i'm bringing regular outfits and then like honestly a lot of these outfits that i'm bringing can be shot like content can be be shot in them so i don't have to you know do a lot of that now the thing that i am worried about is my coats now i am waiting waiting for a package that comes tomorrow it has a coat and it's like thick she thick so it's this blue coat i'm thinking of wearing with these black like an all black outfit black denim black bodysuit and let the coat like be the moment <sighs> we're gonna see child we're gonna see but as far as like the items i know for sure for sure for sure for sure we're gonna go ahead sit down and pack so let's do that all right so i have all of my little bags that i like to pack my stuff in just so you know one it just saves tons of room but also it um keeps everything organized as far as like okay i'm wearing this with this this with this okay so first up we have this outfit so it's this cute little chunky oversized i got it oversized i got a size extra large i believe um i love getting my sweaters in like an extra large i got an extra large yep um like turtleneck sweater and it's like cream instead of white that's why i really 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 like this because i have one similar um it's not a turtleneck though it's a cardigan and it's like a pure white and i i just i like this warm like beige color instead i think it is super super cute so we're gonna pair this with um a skater skirt a little schoolgirl skirt that i got from amazon um okay so i think i'm gonna wear this skater skirt um the thing with amazon for me when i order a large it always fits like a small like it never fails um or like a medium but i need a large so i was like the skirt that i got last time was so short i was like let me get a 2x let me get a 2x and see like what it's hitting for now it is too big so i'm still gonna wear her and i might return her when i come back honey but um she she's not massively big but she's long now um she fits nice in the waist and i still ha have like a nice amount of room in the waist but i'm so mad that i got this so huge um, I was looking at the reviews, everything, and people were like, yeah, order size up, order size up, order size up, and now it's way too big. So, I'm just going to flip it. Um, when I tried the outfit on, I flipped it, and I thought it would look really, really cute. So, I'm going to pair that with the turtleneck sweater. So, I'm going to go ahead, put that in one of the bigger bags. 
and I like this one because it has like the little straps. So all the big things, I think that's honestly the only sweater I'm bringing. Um, I think so. So yeah. I think everything else is like a top or a blazer. We can put the blazer in here too. The blazer outfit, oh, I'm so excited for. Um, the blazer outfit, I know y'all probably seen it. Like everybody's wearing like the sheer dress or the sheer skirt and they're pairing it with a blazer or a sweater. Now I wanted to do the sweater, um, but I don't have a black long one and I couldn't find one that would get here in time. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to put that outfit in here as well with the blazer. And because blazers are kind of, well, this one's not bulky. This is one from, um, and this is a 10, um, but it fits oversized. That's why I love it. It's from Boohoo. I'll go ahead and link what I can um, in my LTK for y'all. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and add her. That look is about to be fire. Like that's a, that's one of the like photo, like photo shoot looks, but I feel like that could eat as a daytime look. Like it's New York. Like I probably wouldn't wear it here as a daytime look. Um, but I definitely, I, I would, I, I, I. This is a bodysuit. This is a bodysuit that I'm going to bring. Um, it honestly can go with multiple looks. I'm not sure. I need to like narrow it down, like which one I'm gonna wear with this for sure. No, I have two. I'm gonna bring my other bo black bodysuit. I have one that is like short sleeve. I have a sp spaghetti strap one and I have this one. So I'm gonna bring three because I tried on a lot of my black outfits on with this bodysuit. So I'm gonna pack all three. I have to wash the other two, sir. Um, okay, two outfits are in here, and then I have another look. Now, these shorts I got in a large from Amazon, because after I got that skirt, I was like, look, I'm not trying to play with, with Amazon and its trickery anymore. So, this, these fit so good. They fit so perfect, and they're, like, long. They're not, like, booty shorts. So, I really like these. These shorts are going to go with tights, like the, the skirt and the sweater look. They're going to go with tights and it's going to go with this gray bomber. I've worn it a few times on my TikTok. I'm going to pair it with that. That's like a daytime look, but could also be a photography look. So, I'm going to lay this on top. I think this should fit all of this. And a bodysuit is going to go underneath it. I have this bomb skirt from Zara. Um, it's like a short skirt and a long skirt, if that makes sense. It's short and long. I um, got this in a size extra large. It's really cute. Um, I'm going to lay this on top. This is going to go with a bodysuit and my jacket from Anthropology. It's green. Where is that? It's got stuff everywhere in here, y'all. Okay, here we go. It's green and blue. And then I'm also going to wear my New York fitted with that look too. I just like maroon and navy blue together. So that's a vibe. All right. Okay, she is stuffed up in here. Um, okay. And that's why I also like these cute, like, little packing cubes because maybe you can stuff stuff these things up in here. Like, stuff stuff your clothes and they fit perfect. Here we go. First one is packed. This is, a, this is the largest one that I have. So, boom. There she is. Period. That was three looks. So now we have a holiday party. So this is my holiday party look. And it has this these furry sleeves. We're supposed to wear like disco, well, like silver um, uh, vibes, silver, think Renaissance child. Y'all know Re Renaissance is taking over. So I'm going to put this in a cubicle, a cubicle, a packing cube. And I think honestly, I'm going to put my tights in here as well this is the next size down cubicle that i'm putting this stuff in cubicle why does he keep saying cubicle packing cube that i'm putting the, this in so i'm gonna put my tights in here along with oh these jeans 
and this is another outfit it's like this sheer top from H&M and these wide leg pants oh, that I am obsessed with from anthropology so we're gonna put that's an outfit um, with the fitted hat as well so and then I think that's it y'all I think the last outfit like the optional one is my black jeans with a white button up oh and I'm bringing these gloves y'all for my the leather shorts look in the bomber jacket these like pleathery looking long gloves like <laughs> oh just just wait for the mixtures girl just wait so i'm gonna put these with like my um socks and all that stuff so yeah i really just have the this like this is like a back up regular outfit if you will and then this i'm not sure if i'm gonna bring this so this and then the zara pants okay I need to I need to narrow this down because now I, I officially have five outfits packed three in this one two in this one um because we're doing like there's like after party daytime look after party like basically I need outf outfits enough outfits for two days or two two outfits per day gosh besides Wednesday um but not even still Wednesday because I might meet up with friends for dinner that night so yeah I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board y'all because mm. I have this anthropology denim dress that I really like and I was thinking of bringing this with a um with a jacket mind you I still have to fit that big jacket that's not even here yet in the bag too so child I think I might be bringing two suitcases like I did last time because I had two suitcases on top of a carry-on. <laughs> oh no, this better not be broke. Oh, child, I thought this thing was broke. Okay, I'll see y'all when I'm done packing so y'all can get the end of this video. Because this vlog is way too long. I just wanted to add this in here. Because I was sick and I didn't get to record and do the things that I wanted to do the way I wanted to do them. So, I will be back. Oh, the woven bag. I didn't show y'all my woven bag from Anthropology. She's definitely coming because look at all that space inside of here. Like, I can fit to both of my tripods, my camera, any touch-up makeup I need. Like, she's coming. <laughs> it's giving Fotega. So cute. So, I'm excited about this bag. She's coming too. But, all right. Okay. I will see y'all when I am done packing and I'll show y'all the aftermath because, again, the video is too long. Um, I won't show like the makeup and stuff. I'll probably show y'all that when we get to New York and just kind of like show you what I packed and unpack like do an unpacking video. But yeah, I'm rambling. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>